Hello, hi friends. My name is Sarvansh and welcome back to my YouTube channel on Indian tutorial. So today we are going to discuss about uh, MDM and the MAM overview. So these are the two major component of the Intune. Even I have created uh, the other videos about the Intune basic understanding. So now uh, this video is all about to MDM and MAM overview. So let's understand this and later on we'll plan to create video uh, more into Intune, how we can configure policy, deployment, app and the other things. So let me start this video now. So here is mobile device management uh, that's called MDM also and uh, let, let's try to understand what the MDM will do or uh, what is the MDM. So MDM uh, it is uh, part of this uh, it's a major component of Intune and uh, this this is like a uh, mobile device management when we are talking about the mobile device man so you knows that Intune is majorly used for the uh, in mobile device management so in uh, mobile device management it's it's involved to manage your iOS uh, iPad OS Mac OS Android and the Windows devices so when we talk about the these device management so there is a specific version like minimum requirement for the version like ios ipad or mac mac os version android or the windows version what is the minimum supported version so when when you are going to manage these devices you need to see the which is the minimum version is uh, compatible with your intune uh, intune console so let's see what it will do so enroll devices for the management and uh, the managed and configure provision setting certificates and the profile so what exactly mdm will do so mdm will manage and uh, do the configuration for your provision settings it's manage your certificate or managing your certificate or certificate deployments and the profile management so it will be uh, managing your reports and uh, major device compliances so uh, with the mdm feature what you can do on the devices you can get the report about the device like i can say it's um, the, about this device like inventory kind of thing so you can get the uh, install details and uh, there are the hardware details you can fetch it in the uh, in the reports so the uh, major device compliance so device compliance it's again based on your compliance setting or the compliance policy you have created and post it to your device so based on that it will give you the compliance report whether it's a compliancy or non-compliancy then uh, the remove company data from the device is uh, if the user lost the device or leave the configuration so these are the the some things where the mdm is going to manage there is a lot of big list to uh, for this uh, activity what we can perform with the MDM but uh, here uh, now in the slides I'm going in the short description and later on we'll see the in-depth then go after enrollment device what will happen when when you enroll your devices into Intune so what you will get or what you can manage it so let's see the little overview about on this so push the certificate to device so user can easily access your Wi-Fi network or use a VPN to connect your network so what you can do when first you enroll your device and then you can push the certificate from there or when when you are enrolling a device so automatically it will take your azure ready certificate during the enrollment so you can see in the my video in the last video how you can enroll the windows devices so you can see in the how the certificate um, push it to from your azure active directory to the your um, in uh, your the devices and what you can do it see the devices and all and get the inventory of the devices uh, accessing the company resource so when your devices get enrolled into Intune device uh, sorry Intune console so 
what it will go so get the inventory of the devices so when in the device and roll into um, into the intune then you can get the inventory of the devices like uh, what are the application install or and uh, what are the uh, disk spaces they are how much ram is they are in your the devices so you can get the complete inventory then configure um, configure device so they can meet your the security and the health standard so when you enroll the devices then uh, based on your the um, compliancy policy uh, you can um, set the policy okay it is meet the my the requirement security or the health standard or not for an example you probably want to block the jailbroken devices so if you want to block the any specific kind of devices you can put the your uh, compliancy or your um, compliance in that if a device is not compliance then it will block the device by the intune so see um, see reports on user and the devices are compliance or the not compliance so you can get that report in your in tune whether the device is compliance or uh, it's a non compliance so these are like a basic common things are there in the mdm will go something in depth in the our coming slide so remove the organization data if the device is lost or installed uh, stolen or not in use anymore so you can uh, you can remove the company data from that device like uh, if i'm using the iphone so in that if uh, that iPhone I'm using for the company purpose and uh, that it's enrolled to the company in tune and uh, suppose uh, I lost that iPhone or uh, I leave the organization so I can remove the company data from that phone now let's have a little look about the uh, MAM uh, mobile device management so here you can see in it the first deploy mobile application what what you can do with the mobile application management so deploy the mobile application to the users and uh, app configuration you can do it manage and deploy your application update so what basically you can do with the main feature in intune so you can deploy the application to the user you can do the application configuration app configuration or you can manage or deploy your the application updates and a report app inventory and the uses so by using the intune you can get the um, application inventory and their uses like uh, that is called like a um, software metering kind of thing which if we talk in the SSEM that word use software metering so you can say in intune this app uses like how much uh, user is using that application so you can track and you can get it the report into intune then data security so separation uh, between personal and the private data so it can separate your company data and the your personal data so when you enroll any of the devices by using the data security feature data will be separated between your company data and your the personal data so you cannot merge both the data suppose you are using uh, company email in your phone and you downloaded some company PDF or wordpad or any of the file in your phone so you cannot copy it in as your the personal data it will be downloaded in your phone but you cannot send it to on your personal Gmail or personal ID so you cannot merge both the data uh, your organization and uh, your the personal data see so it it can't be much then what is uh, what else it will do uh, remove the company data uh, within the mobile app so when when you left the organization or you lost the phone so you can uh, remove data from the that particular application data you can remove it so it will it not going to harm on your phone it's not going to wipe your phone or it's not going to format your phone only the company data can be removed by using the Intune console so let's see the uh, when when you start managing the apps 
what you can do it so i collected some of the these data from the microsoft sites and um, i studied well and i created a ppt for you guys so it can be created and deploy on a device that are enrolled into the devices and enroll to the another device service or not enroll into the mdm devices on enroll device app protection policies can add it to the extra layer of the protection so when when you are managing the app so that app can be created or deployed to the device or enroll the intune so first first when when the uh, the device is enrolled to into the intune then you can manage or you can deploy the app or uh, or you can um, the enroll in the another mdm services so what exactly it's saying so you can do the app protection policy can be the added of the extra layer so on the application you can put the one or uh, one more uh, um, protection layer on the application so this uh, the separation between the personal and the private data so it can do the separation for your the personal and the private data so uh, use azure ad identity to isolate organization and the personal data so you can use the azure identity to, to separate your personal and the organization data configure app to start or run with a specific setting enabled and the update existing app already on the device so what you can do it so you can um, configure the app to start or run with the specific setting suppose you want to uh, put some setting on that your application so you can do that or or you can enable the updates for the existing app in your mobile device can check the report on which app are used and the track on their uses so that you can easily can um, check um, which app are used or how much is the uses has happened for this application so can assign the mobile app to user group or a device including user in a specific group device in the specific group on the more so what you can do you can uh, assign the mobile app to a uh, particular group or particular uh, devices or including the user in the specific group so you can deploy the app for a particular one user or user group or to target it to the device or can be the device group so you can do that so do a selective wipe by removing only organization data from app so this already i explained you so you can uh, do a selective wipe selective wipe in the sense if the company application installed on your mobile so you can do the wipe on particular app so it will not harm to the other application on your or the your mobile device now let's see so this is something important what i write it here like uh, the the difference between the mdm and mem so now we'll go something in depth and i created this big list to understand uh, in last ppts we seen it like a uh, little overview about the mdm and mem and now uh, we'll see the little closer um, what are the features we can get in uh, mdm and the mem device so let's see it so device data encryption that we can do it only in the mdm and it we can't do it in the mem and if we talk about the uh, the remote data wipe that can do and the uh, mdm and that cannot done in the mem then again it's like a enforcing setup policy app installation and uninstallation remotely without the user consent consent so that can be done in the mdm and cannot be done in the mem so control data sharing option on the device so that you can do it in your mdm and not in the mem and like a device jailbreak and a root detection that you can do in the both 
uh, it's like a in your uh, mam uh, mdm and the mam so if we see it's like um, managing and the securing uh, b2c application or data loss prevention so that can do it uh, data loss prevention uh, features can used for the mdm and mam app uh, deployment based on the configuration can do it for in, in the m and the mam uh, white listing and black listing of the device or user or the application that can the section perform uh, with the MDM and the MAM and uh, rest of the motion. So these are the things which I came to the conclusion after study a lot on the technet side. So these are the things you can do it. If something is missing, then uh, you guys can comment me. Then I can add it in the my coming slides. Or uh, I can add it in this video mm. so these are the things just for knowing what is the MDM and the MAM and uh, I will be coming back soon with my the other videos about uh, the how we can work on the MDM and the MAM so guys thank you for watching this video see you soon in my next video